An Omaha native is trying to showcase local talent while expanding the city's film industry. Yeah, since 2015, Night Fox Entertainment has connected the city to the Hollywood spotlight while creating access to the black voices within the community. KTV News Watch 7's Kaylee Searcy with the story. A game of strategy, vision, and patience. A reflection of Tim Christian and his company, Night Fox Entertainment. I wanted to be able to tell stories. I wanted to be able to provide um, underrepresented people with opportunity. And so that's why I decided to get into film. Eight years ago, Christian hit play on his own movie and went behind the scenes to put his vision on the big screen. I knew that I wanted to create a company that could help Omaha, Nebraska, and really put us on the map in terms of film and media and those things. Christian says they're developing their own material, turning them into TV shows and films. Z for Zachariah, and that film, you know, did star she would edge you for Margot Robbie and Chris Pine. It was, you know, a sci-fi film that we released at the Sundance Film Festival, the New York Times best-selling book called An Invisible Thread. Uh, we are making that into a feature film. And giving the community exposure both in front and behind the camera. There's plenty of community theater here. I was able to hone my craft uh, over the years. I liked seeing young black people uh, you know, be represented in, in, in the film industry here a, a lot more than there is currently. John Beasley, an Omaha native and seasoned actor, got his start at 45 years old. From Broadway to starring in movies, now in between shows, he's mentoring the next generation of talent. I had the opportunity to work with a lot of young people who were interested in acting, some people that didn't even know they could act. And joining Night Fox and setting the scene, one that was once up and coming, like the former John Beasley Theater. And um, he asked me, what would it take for me to open another theater here, especially on the north side? Or a fund to further invest back into the city. There will be a cutout uh, per year of three films that will be specifically targeted at African American filmmakers, uh, directors, and writers to showcase their talent. Kaylee Searcy, KTV, Newswatch 7.